there's not a lot I miss about being a kid because I know I would have to put up with a lot of BS and like not really be able to do anything about it. And I think one of the many little things of BS kids have to go through is their teachers are really mean to them. Like, sometimes when I'm out and about, I will see little school children on like a little school trip. And like, I can hear the way that their teachers are talking to them. And I can pretty much guarantee you they would not speak that way to the children if the parents were in front of them. Like, these are small kids too. Like, they're so little that they have to hold the little rope to go through Central Park. And like, the rope is only like two feet off the ground. Like, they're small kids. And like, I hear the teacher like barking at them like, you're not staying with the group. Like, yes, it's literally your job to corral them. Literally, I feel like your entire job is to corral them. You signed up to teach these very young children, no? And the reason why this is so disappointing is like, when I was a kid, I feel like people weren't really the nicest to me. Like adults weren't always the nicest to me when they could have been, or they could have been nicer. And <clears throat> something that also occurred to me is like, they would have never done that if my mom was in front of them. Absolutely not. And I think parents nowadays are even more like protective of their kids, like absolutely not. So if you are a child educator and you know that you could afford to be a little more gentle, this is your warning because when I have a kid, I'm gonna be your worst nightmare because I've seen too much. I know how you guys talk to the kids when you think that random strangers on the street aren't judging you and can't hear. I don't care if you that kid's like a troublemaker. They're too, you know, like they're very small. Children are gonna be troublemakers. They're going to have difficulty focusing when they're small. I don't really know why this is such a wild concept for you, but if it is, maybe you should seek a different kind of employment. You will not get away with talking to people that way. I think that there are so many people who are really mean because they experienced this in childhood and they just expect that everyone is really mean. Like no one checked, like, Stop leaving children alone with adults. Seriously. Like, I feel like we need someone watching the teacher at this point because I don't have any clue how people can decide who to leave their children with. Be and like, there's also like a big nanny culture in New York that I'm seeing. And like, sometimes these nannies are like mean as hell to your kids too. Like the things that they're saying to them are things that I'm like, whoa. No, like, it's not like, oh, I think the parent should be saying this. Like, I don't think anyone should say that to a kid. This is why I'm glad Chinese culture has like this really big culture of like childcare within your family. Like if you cannot find someone to hire, like literally you have eight relatives who are like, I would like to spend time with my godchild, grandchild, cousin's child, nephew, whatever. Like that is so much more trustworthy than a complete stranger who just wants to take your money and be mean to your kid. You know, at least your family will do it for free.